Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. We're going to be concentrating on making a funeral tribute today. So this is a woodland styled open heart using the colour palette of sheer lilac. So I would suggest that this funeral design is probably suitable for the sad loss of a friend or someone quite close being heart shaped. The colour lilac depicts qualities of humanity and kindness. And it will suit somebody that perhaps preferred a more natural woodland style of arrangement. The soft feel is achieved by using the smaller, more delicate flowers. That helps to add to the overall textured effect. Okay, so my ingredients for today are obviously my 18 inch um, floral foam heart frame. I'm going to be using some preserved dark green reindeer moss, or you could use natural moss if you prefer. I've got 10 stems of salix willow. I've got 10 stems of calla lily paco. Now, calla, the calla lilies, uh, this particular variety is paco, but you would probably normally expect it to be a little bit paler if you purchased it in the summer. Calla lilies do tend to change their colouring depending on the time of the year. So the same variety that you would buy in the winter months as opposed to the summer months may have a slightly different hue. This is due to the grower um, and also the light levels. So yeah, if you ever do need any advice, then always give us a call and we can actually talk you through how they're presenting themselves at this current time of the year. Okay, so that's Calla lily paco also got a lovely spray rose here called Ocean Mikado, really soft and delicate. I'm using a allium called Gladiator. Um, I've also got a bunch of Pittosporin Elan. So this is a variegated foliage. So the white sort of cream edges do give it a much lighter effect. So it's not so heavy and dense looking as the darker green varieties are. And last but no, by no means least, we've also got freesia. This particular freesia is called Blue Moon. It smells absolutely heavenly. Okay, so that's my fresh content. And then obviously I'm using my usual floristry box. In addition to my toolkit today, I'm using some mossing pegs. This is a three centimetre mossing peg. I've also got some green stub wires. This is a 90 by 300 millimetre. So enjoy!
So as usual, I have a few top tips for you. Uh, my top tip number one, so this tribute can be made in advance, I'd probably say a couple of days actually, and then store it somewhere nice and cool, but do make sure that you keep it well watered. Okay, top tip number two, by using calla lilies with a slightly longer stem, you'll find it's easier to manipulate them. You need to keep them in a warmer environment um, because they are much more pliable. If they are quite cold to touch, what I would recommend you do is you run them through your hands a little bit and then you can just gently tease them into the position that you want them to be. So manipulate them. If you keep them in a very cool, cold environment, when you do try and bend them, they will snap. Okay, so that's top tip number two. Top tip number three, this can be made in any colour scheme to suit um, the deceased. So it doesn't just have to be this beautiful sheer lilac colour tone. All right. So stay tuned for more of our sheer lilac inspired designs. Next, we'll be incorporating flowers into the home environment, so for your home decor. Thanks for watching us, and we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.